Hey guys, Chad Lyman here, uh, C4C, PFC, also at, we're at Extreme Couture here in Vegas. Shout out to all the Funko Tactical guys out there. I'm with Mikey Florio, certified C4C instructor, also a master DT instructor for the state of Nevada. Uh, law enforcement application, let's say we have a gun belt on, we're dealing with a suspect on just a, a person stop. And up to this point, he's been cooperative but he's gonna try that sucker punch. He's gonna try to punch us. Um, we're not big believers in a bunch of different punching defense techniques. For example, if Mike throws a rounded right hand, a lot of places, you know, they're gonna do this kind of a block. If Mike throws a straight, they're gonna do some kind of parry. Um, if, if Mike throws like a Donkey Kong over his head, then they're gonna do some kind of overhead block, anything like that. We're, we're not big proponents of that because in the time it would take me to figure out where the punch is, which hand it is, and I'm gonna block it, 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 that's time. And in a fight, things happen very, very, very quickly. So if we brush or test this stuff, which we're big believers in, um, Mike would actually put minimum MMA gloves on, maybe big gloves, and uh, we'll actually attack each other, try to punch each other in the face. What we find is that in that kind of an environment, uh, especially if we run a stop, a scenario where I don't know if Mike's going to punch me. And maybe on one scenario he cooperates the whole time, then on another one he spontaneously attacks me. It's really, really hard to block. One other thought I would give you is, boxers, MMA, Muay Thai, uh, email me one guy, one guy who fights other humans for money. Not that as a fighting system, but I fight other human beings in a cage or in a ring that does this in that fight. Show me one guy. Worldwide, we're talking China, Japan, Russia, the US, Canada, South America. One guy who's a pro, he makes money. The blocks. If you can't show me that one guy, and for you guys who say, oh, that's sport, the sport is knock the other dude unconscious with violence. That's the sport. So if, if you want to fall on that sword, I, I call nonsense on it because in MMA and boxing, if we do something, we win, we make more money. We would adopt it tomorrow if it worked. It doesn't work. So enough of my soapbox. What does work then? Three things. I want to cover the intended target, especially as a cop. I want to cover my computer. I don't want to get turned off. I want to control distance, control range, and I want to create angles. Those three things. I don't care how you accomplish those things. The cover could be here. It could be here. It could be here. It could be here. It could be here. As long as I'm covering and I'm controlling range, I'm coming forward. Okay? So Mike's my bad guy. I'm interviewing him. I, I'm telling him, hey, turn around, put your hands behind your back. If he switches his feet, that's the single biggest indicator we're going to fight. Mike, go back to your normal stance. If I ever see this on a stop, I'm immediately making space. What are you doing? Fix your feet. I'm immediately addressing that. No one punches from here. Everybody does either a step forward or a step back, and then it's going to go. So one of your biggest indicators is foot position. Mike did it unconsciously because he knew he was going to punch me. Go ahead and do that, though, Mike, and then throw your punch. So now his punch comes. I'm covering and I'm closing that distance. I'm coming forward. What I don't want to do, throw up more rounded for me, okay. just for purpose of showing. What I don't want to do is leave this space. Because what's going to come next? His other hand. Bah. The other thing is, throw it rounded again. If I'm going here, I'm blocking. I've chosen, I'm blocking. Our concept is covering. So let me show you the difference. Throw that rounded again. Boom, I'm covering. I'm just going forward on Mike so there's no space. Space is not my friend. Space is a friend of NASA and the person defending. Okay? So as Michael throws his punch, I'm covering and I'm closing. Now, create an angle. I'm going to wall Mike's head off with a forearm here, a barrier. And I'm going to create an angle. I'm going to control the arm I'm going to. This is the arm I'm moving to the angle. I want to control that arm. So I want to underhook it overhook it or pass it in front of me. Now I'm all the way behind. He can't punch me with this hand and it's hard to punch me with that hand. But I can punch Mike 
full force. So I've worked to an angle. An angle means my hip space mic and all my attacks, sorry, <laughs> all my attacks are the same from here as they are from here. But the problem for Mike is his attacks have changed. Now he's gonna turn and face me, he's not gonna stay there, but I'll create another angle. So let's go over this again. Punch comes, I cover. Okay, you can open that hand up, make it straight. I'm at an angle. This is perfect. You say, Chad, you ended up on his back that time. Let's go slow, same thing, straight, straight, straight. Cover, control range, angle. This is perfect. Let's do it again. Cover, control range, I'm at an angle. I've got the near side arm. He puts it behind me. I wall his head off. I'm walling his head off because if I don't, he can turn into me. Now he uses his head to create an angle. Now he's got the angle. Okay? So I want to wall his head off. Here, here. And if he moves it to create his own angle, I'm immediately moving it again. I just created another angle. Mike strips my hand off, he fixes it, he creates his own angle. Boom, I create another angle. Boom, Mike comes in. Boom. And I'm on the angle again. Constantly I can go back here. I can deliver strikes from these spots. So now we're just going to demo it without talking. But that's what you're watching for. You're watching for a cover, for a controlling of range. Punches, I want to be close or far. If he's coming forward, I'm not going to be able to make space backwards, and I want to go to angles. So watch us do that kind of in a light drill. Get down, down on the ground, down, 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 down. Turn your head away from me. Cross your ankles. Get your left arm, put your right hand in the small of your back. Stay there, do not move. Back up. Work. Turn your head to the side. Turn it one way or the other. Good. Bring me this hand. Get out. Get out. Get out on the ground. Get down. Come off the wall. Arms behind your back. So guys, remember, cover, control range, create angles. Go train a little lot so you can be your own best backup.